Welcome back to The Good Mood with The Good Dude. In the last episode, I mentioned that I keep a list on my computer of all the projects that I want to eventually do. And one thing that's been on that list basically for as long as I've kept the list is a mashup between Tau Fire Warriors and the French house duo Daft Punk. Now, since the pair split last month, it seemed like there was no better time to pull the trigger on this project. My vision for this project was pretty simple. Take two fire warriors, reposition their arms so that they were crossed rather than holding pulse rifles or whatever, and convert their helmets so they matched the designs of those worn by Guy Manuel and Thomas, the members of Daft Punk. Although simple, this last part would be a little tricky. I'm not great at sculpting hard surfaces like those of helmets, which can be far less forgiving than soft surfaces like the flesh of my Lizardman conversions. Now, I've wanted to get some Tau Fire Warriors for a while, so it was a real joy to finally have the box and sprues in my hands. I've got plans for the rest of the kit, but only time will tell if I'll actually get around to acting on them. But enough of that, back to this project. To reposition the arms, I cut off whatever they were holding and scraped away the remnants. Their right arms were already held to their chests, so I didn't have to do anything more to those, but their left arms needed to be snipped in half and some green stuff work was required to create a bend at the elbow. Since Thomas is a little taller than Guy Manuel, I used some green stuff to make the leg piece for his fire warrior slightly longer at the waist. This would be quite a subtle effect, but I hoped that it would be enough to capture their slight height difference. For the helmets, I decided to use one of each kind provided in the kit. I would use the Strike Force helmet for Guy Manuel's helmet and the Breacher Team helmet for Thomas's helmet. With both, I started by cutting off the details, leaving a blank surface behind, except in the case of Thomas's helmet, where I left the detail right at the bottom the shape of this remaining detail would help me make the little mouth slit in the design that you can see here. Finally, I got to work sanding what was left to leave me with a smooth surface to sculpt onto. Off camera, I spent a weekend sculpting green stuff details every few hours, which got me to this result. It's far from perfect, but I'm pretty happy with it considering hard surface sculpting is not in my comfort zone. You'll also notice that I used some thin slices of plastic card rod for the details on the sides of the helmets. Over that same weekend and in between sculpting sessions, I spent a bunch of time working on the base and background. More time than I originally anticipated. The basic idea I had from the start was blue light. First, I just think that blue light looks cool. But it's also reminiscent of Tron, and Daft Punk worked on the Tron soundtrack. I also think that the rectangles of light up and down the buildings are suggestive of the bars on a graphic equalizer, which again you would associate with music, so it makes sense here. I also wanted to add some text to the background. A trick I've used a couple of times now to help with my freehand is to take a photo of the surface on which I'm painting and edit it to include the detail I want to freehand. This makes it easier to see where I need to be putting paint. The words I painted onto the background are harder, better, faster, greater, which is obviously a reference to the Daft Punk song, harder, better, faster, stronger, but with a Tao Empire twist. If you know Tao, you know they love the greater good. The grid on the base is a reference both to the grid of Tron, but it's also a reference to the grid that you can see on the artwork for the Alive album. After re-listening to Daft Punk's entire discography over the course of this project, that's easily my favourite Daft Punk album. Now, I really wanted to get this project completed quickly. After all, Daft Punk's disbandment was only going to be relevant for so long. And since I had taken so long to finish the base and background, I did a bit of a rush job on the actual minis. After priming the models, I wasn't entirely happy with the surface of Guy Man's helmet, which was not as smooth as it should have been. My solution to this problem was to resist the conventional wisdom and instead of using two thin coats, I painted many thick coats to even out the visor's surface. The bodies are then painted a basic black with some gray and very light blue edge highlights. And to make these sell as Daft Punk, the main thing was to recreate the iconic colors of the helmets. For Guy Man's helmet, I used Retributor Armor and Auric Armor Gold from Citadel. And for Thomas's helmet, I used Rune Fang, Steel, and Stormhurst Silver. 
I then coated their visors in Ard Coat to make them appear reflective. While I was doing this project and among listening to Daft Punk's music, I also watched a few videos on the samples the pair used in their music. I'll link a video which I think is particularly good on this topic. It's quite incredible to listen to the source material and to see how the samples are chopped, rearranged and otherwise manipulated to produce the sounds and melodies that are familiar to us from their finished tracks. I think people's attitudes towards sampling varies depending on their musical tastes but I think that there's a similar approach and mindset between sampling and kit bashing. In both cases, you, you look at existing products like songs or model kits, you examine all the pieces of which that thing is composed, and you think about how those pieces can be reused to make something completely unique and different. Sampling is kind of like kit bashing with music, and Daft Punk were some of the best musical kit bashers around. Anyway, my daft tower are finished. Even if they're not beautifully painted, I'm really happy with the final result. It came together quickly and I can be confident that whatever else happens, my little pair of tower producers and DJs will never disband. Well, thanks for watching the video. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you want to support the channel. I'll see more things like this. But for now, I am the good dude. This is the good mood and I'll see you in the future.